the, the photovoltaics industry is actually at a, a very interesting point right now. Um, for a long time, the cost of solar electricity was dominated by the cost of the solar panel that you had to put on your roof. This was a bunch of expensive semiconductor uh, that you had to put up on your roof. So that uh, typically dominated the focus of, of research, was trying to decrease the cost of, uh, of solar energy. So we typically refer to the cost of solar power as being uh, composed of the cost of the solar panel and also the cost of the balance of the system, the ancillary stuff. We're now at a point where even if I dramatically reduce the cost of silicon solar cells, these guys are about 20% efficient, um, I'm getting into this law of diminishing returns where even if I start giving you silicon solar cells for free, I'm not actually lowering the overall cost of the solar power produced. So that's where concentrating photovoltaics come in and that's uh, where you're able to take very high efficiency solar cells like what are used on the space station and leverage uh, their very expensive cost by using cheap inexpensive optics like lenses basically like the magn like magnifying glasses um, in order to redirect a lot of sunlight to very small areas of solar cells so you can still generate a lot of power but you don't need very much expensive solar cell so um, what we did is we basically tried to take concentrating photovoltaics and scale them down uh, to a much smaller, more compact size, basically trying to achieve concentrating photovoltaics in the same form factor as standard photovoltaic panels so that you could substitute these very high efficiency uh, concentrating photovoltaics um, in applications where that are traditionally dominated by standard silicon photovoltaic panels. Um, what we've tried to do is implement something that's that achieves that tracking through translation. So in this case, the optic itself is actually fixed. The tracking is, is achieved by following the, uh, the moving focal point of the lens. Um, and so what this allows you to do is maintain um, fixed optics in basically, let's say, on the slope of your roof, for example, um, but at the same time, be able to achieve solar concentration throughout the entire day.